Hey, this is Terratoots with a quick introduction to using Terragen Sky with Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> the August 23rd update of Terragen Sky added a great new feature, which is the ability to export skies in HDR format. This allows us to now use Terrigen Sky's Live Send feature with Unreal Engine, giving a nearly real-time preview of sky exports. This is super useful for positioning the sun and clouds exactly where you need them for your desired lighting. Let's take a look at how to set this up, starting with preparing Unreal and then Terrigen Sky. We'll start with a level in Unreal, which I've populated with a few Quixel objects. I'd like to bring in a sky from Terrigen Sky, with the sun peeking right over the edge of the rock here. The first thing we'll do is add an HDRI backdrop. To do this, we'll need to enable the HDRI backdrop plugin under Edit, Plugins, HDRI backdrop. Make sure this box is checked and then restart the editor if needed. Now we can add the backdrop under Place Actors, Lights, HDRI backdrop. Now that we have our backdrop in place, it's time to bring in a sky to place into it to replace this sample. Before we do that, let's set up Unreal to take advantage of Terrigen Sky's Live Send feature. First, we'll add a new folder, which we'll call Skies. Next, come to Edit, Editor Preferences, and search for Auto Reimport. Make sure Monitor Content Directories is checked, and then add our newly created Skies folder to the list of directories to monitor. You can see I've already done that here. We'll set the import threshold time to one second, and uncheck Prompt Before Action. This will make Unreal continually check the Skies folder for updates, and load our updated Sky file as soon as Terrigen Sky saves it. Let's save the project and then come over to Terrigen Sky. Here, we'll open up a new sky. We'll stick with the default sky for now, and set the preview mode to 360, which is going to start rendering the whole sky dome at once. Next, come to Export, Live Send 360, Set Output File, and navigate to the Skies folder we created inside your Unreal project structure. Let's name the file Sky Preview, and make sure to set the file format to HDR. Now we can click Send Now to save a snapshot of the Sky Preview. Coming back over to Unreal, we see that it's already importing the new file we created. You may get a pop-up at this point asking if you want to import the image as a cube map. If so, click Yes, that's what we want. Now, in our content browser, we should see our sky preview. And we're going to drag that to the cube map slot on our HDRI backdrop. And cool, there's our sky preview, looking pretty much like it did in Terrigen Sky. Now comes the useful part. Let's say we want our sun peeking just over the edge of this rock here. Make a note of where that is in the sky. And then come back over to Terrigen Sky and click that spot to move the sun. Now click Send Now. And we should see our sky update in Unreal almost instantly. You can iterate a few times to get it just right. The Camera Plus preview mode in Sky can be useful to get a faster preview of just the sun location. Once you're done, don't forget to move the angle of the directional light in Unreal to match the new sun location in the HDRI so your shadows line up nicely. Live Send is also a nice way to try out some different lighting scenarios. For example, Dusk. Full day, or 
four different cloud setups. Once you find something that you like, come back to the Render tab in Terrigen Sky and render out a full resolution spherical image, making sure to render into the same folder. This can take quite a while depending on your settings. Once the render is complete, just replace the preview sky in your backdrop with the full resolution image, and you're ready to go.